Hey guys, thanks for coming back and uh, I've got a, a fun one today for all of you metal fabricators out there. I am going to put a three-way gate on the back of my trailer. So tag along. Okay, for all of you guys that, are, that have been following the channel, you know that we're moving up to Idaho and uh, it's coming quick. We have three months left. We, I just reserved a moving van for the middle of June. Uh, the end last week of June. <laughs> it's getting real, guys. This is crazy. So if you guys haven't subscribed, uh, hit that bell notification. Uh, you can follow us on our journey as we escape California and get up to the land of the free. Can't wait. Uh, those of you that are new to the channel, we've had our, we have a log home on five acres with a trout stream on it and we are off grid up in Idaho and you can't wait to get up there so uh, I have I'm a planner uh, those of you that have been following the channel know that I scored this dump trailer a while back so that I can do my own work on my own road and haul my own gravel as well as haul my dozer if you haven't seen that dozer that I bought 1970 John Deere 350 with a six-way blade and I'm gonna be using that to fix the road. And then I'm gonna go haul my own rock. I'm gonna be fabricating a three-way uh, dump trailer tailgate on this thing. And uh, so check out these pictures. You guys, if you guys know what a dump truck looks like, you know, when they spread gravel or rock or whatever they're dumping and they wanna spread it in an even controlled manner, they only allow that tailgate to come open 6 to 12 inches or so and it, and it controls how much comes out at one time. And then they drive forward and it spreads the, the gravel or the rock or whatever they're spreading or the dirt, sand in a nice even layer as long as they drive at a consistent pace. And, um, and that really saves a lot of time for the guy on the, uh, the grader or the dozer or the loader or whatever you're using to spread that stuff around. So let's get to it guys. Okay, guys, so I bought all this stuff online on Amazon. It's crazy how, how easy it was to buy this stuff. I'm still waiting for the hinges. Maybe later in the video, if I don't get this video out this weekend, probably a two-part series on what I'm going to be doing here and uh, sh show you what I'm doing to fabricate this thing and set it up and prepare this thing and start cutting and shaping. And then when I get the hinges for the doors, hopefully those will show up tomorrow. If they do, I'll weld those suckers on and uh, we'll, we'll proceed with the video. But uh, for the meantime, Here's a top hinge. This is actually off of a barbecue company. And this is what's gonna go right up here. Like so. All right, okay. And then this little doohickey here. Oops, open the one here. So when the tailgate comes out, I have to have a way to latch. I'm gonna have a, a piece of metal with a hole in it. And this is gonna be the latch that holds the bottom in place. And you can lock these up nice stiff spring lock them up into position okay and then this bad boy right here this is a handle and it's meant to be welded on I have to buy the three quarter inch pipe to weld this onto and this is called a cam lock you guys have seen these on semi truck trailers where you open you open the door and as you close it you go like this you turn it and this cam lock pulls tight. So this will be, will be on the bottom and this will be on the door. And this is attached to the three quarter inch pipe where this handle is also attached. And so this is gonna keep the two doors closed tight. And then there is, uh, they give you all of the, uh, the retainers to go with it. And then there is a clasp Here's, here's the clasp. All right, so this handle, you can picture the, the two doors and this goes in here and then well, that's bolted together like so. You guys have seen those on the backs of semi trucks. It's pretty basic. They even give you a nice rubber cover for the handle. That's pretty cool. I didn't even see that when I first opened up the box. 
So guys, this kit right here I think cost me 40 bucks for this cam lock kit. I have to just buy the bolts and a piece of three quarter inch pipe, depending on how long it is, and it's only gonna be about this tall. I bought these on Amazon. I think these were $12 for the pair. And then I think these were, I'm gonna say these things were about $10 each. And then the hinges I have, I have four hinges that are, have greasable fittings. I'll show those to you guys later when those come in. Those were like, I think it was 30 bucks for the set of four. So we're gonna get together, get to get going on this thing and start cutting up some metal here. All right, I got the door off. So this is definitely something I'm gonna be missing about California is because uh, we're not gonna have street vendors rolling up our, um, our private dirt road. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. It's the best. We're gonna have to just make our own. Mm. I did a quick little spiel about one thing I'm gonna miss about California is my elotes, and we're gonna have to just make our own. I try to be very organized with how where I put my tools and wow, you just squirted me with that corn. Oh, oh my God, are you gonna miss these corns too, honey? Yeah. We have to make our own. I'm gonna have to grow corn just so we can have these. Huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. Honey. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Anyway, I just wasted like two hours looking for that stupid nut for my grinder so I could change my granny wheel. And I don't know where it is. It is gone. I'm very, very, very organized about where I leave things and I put things so I can find them the next time. I swear that is what takes the longest when I'm doing a project. is just finding the right tool. But they sell them as a two pack at Lowe's. Thank goodness. Here's a neat little trick, guys. So to close up the end of a pipe, basically cut, I cut it, this is two inch pipe, so I cut the piece about two and, a, and a, an eighth longer. I cut off three sides, and I just bend this over. And I'll weld up these three sides, and that'll be my end cap. And this piece right here is gonna go like so. So this piece is gonna go just like that. And this one, I'm not gonna bend over. This is gonna be the end cap for this piece right here. And I'll weld this thing all the way around. This will be super strong. This is gonna be my frame. Uh, one word of advice, do not wear these when welding. I'm your helper and you're putting me down? No, I'm not putting you down. I'm just, I'm just, well, I'm just, why I'm do you go there? Helpful hints for people that are welding. I, I know you're standing, you're standing at least five, six feet back. I get that. I'm just, this is just don't wear those when you're welding. Would you like me to it won't turn out very good for you. Thank you, my love. So yeah, it's already uh, already got it pretty well in on. I just uh, I just have to finish welding this up, and then um, the hinges are on. I have to weld the hinges up and are uh, solidly on here, and uh, then I have to take it off and make the doors. So I'm gonna weld this bottom right now. Fire in a hole. That's gonna go here. That's gonna go here. I need to space this out a little bit. 
<sighs> okay, I think that's enough for one day. So uh, you guys can join me on the next video and I'm gonna finish this thing up. But i uh, show you what I got so far here. And I uh, got the latches and the hinges on and the frame made. And that's that was the big part of it right here. But check this out. So these are these hinges that I bought from Amazon. And they're actually from a barbecue place, believe it or not, but it was 3 16 steel. And that was heavy duty enough with a double a double sandwich over here on one on the other side. If I find that these start to be a stress point or start to crack or something, I'll uh, I'll get some more and I'll and I'll replace these hinges. But I think they're going to do just fine because it's all it's doing is for this thing. This thing is uh, it swings out. So this was the whole point of having a dump trailer so I could dump gravel. And then I've got these hinges that are spring loaded, and I simply have to undo the spring and this one's a little bit tight so I'll give it a little shove and that'll snap down and then the same thing with this side this one's a little bit tighter so I'll probably have to I'll probably have to wall route that hole a little bit down here for that to for that little pin to go in a little bit easier but uh, but yeah so there we go if you guys can imagine uh, this thing full of gravel and dumping the gravel out. There will be a chain. I will weld the chain on, I don't know, either on the bottom or on the top, I'm not sure yet. But uh, I'll have a chain that I can adjust and that way it'll keep this thing from swinging out too far. And then as I go to, as I go to uh, dump the gravel, it'll control it. So guys, thanks for watching that. And uh, I'm gonna finish this up on the next video. This will be a two part series and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the doors I'm going to be using the tailgate and cut that bad boy in half. And hopefully my hinges arrive tomorrow. So uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. And join us on our trip as we go up to Idaho in a few weeks. Thanks for watching, guys.